Hi everyone, this video is going to be on the differences between heat and temperature, two terms that are often interchanged but shouldn't be. So what I'm going to start with is over on this side of your screen thinking about temperature because it's what we're more familiar with. Everyone's read a thermometer before and known how to translate a temperature into say what to wear outside. But really what we're talking about when we discuss temperature is simply a measurement. And in science, in chemistry in particular, that measurement is either going to be in degrees C, that is to say Celsius, or that measurement will be in K or Kelvin. These two are both perfectly legitimate temperature scales to use in chemistry. Sometimes one will be more useful than the other. Oftentimes we report things in Celsius simply because that's the scale that most of the world uses. For some purposes, particularly in this unit, Kelvin is going to be particularly useful because Kelvin is an absolute scale. That means it starts at zero and has no negative values. That's extremely useful when we're going to be working with calculations later on down the line, but it's going to be very important to know how to convert between these two different temperature scales. And luckily, on reference table T, if you slide down all the way to the bottom, you're going to see an equation listed under temperature. And that equation tells you exactly how to convert between Kelvin and degrees Celsius. So if you have one, then you can find the other using a bit of basic algebra, either adding 273 to get from Celsius to Kelvin or subtracting 273 to get from Kelvin to Celsius. So we'll just jot that down that Kelvin is equal to degrees C plus 273. And that's right off of table T, so you'll be able to use that equation whenever you need it. But the numbers that pop out of that type of calculation do have a meaning, scientifically speaking. When we say that the temperature is zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin, what we're really conveying is how fast the molecules are moving in that particular sample. So if the temperature is reported as 100 degrees Celsius versus zero degrees Celsius, that measurement tells us that molecules are moving much, much, much faster when the temperature is 100 versus zero. So the way that we're always going to refer to this in chemistry is by saying that temperature is a measurement of a sample's average kinetic energy. And when we say that term, what we really mean is, on average, since there are lots and lots of molecules in a sample, how fast is a particular molecule moving? Because this term kinetic, as you've seen before, means movement. So a measurement of how fast on average particles are moving. So whenever you see in a problem this phrase average kinetic energy, you can just cross it out and write temperature and chances are the problem is going to get a lot, lot easier. So have the, that link between those two terms, average kinetic energy and temperature made in your mind. So what about heat? Isn't heat the same thing? Not Exactly. It's related and it has a couple similarities, but heat is actually a form of energy. And more specifically, it's a form of thermal energy. And when we're talking about heat in this unit, we're going to talk about two different forms of energy and heat is specific to both. The first being kinetic energy. When I add heat, that added energy can go into making molecules move faster. Move. If that's the case, when I add heat, sure enough, I will increase the temperature. So that added energy goes towards making the molecules move faster. And since temperature measures how fast the molecules move, temperature goes up. However, not all energy is used to raise temperature. If you have a sample, we can be using that energy to sort of rip particles apart, make them more free to move, more free to react. That type of energy is known as potential energy. And oftentimes, like I said, that has to do with freedom to move or maybe react or just spacing between particles. It's got lots of different ways you can think about it. But the main idea here is that heat is energy. 
it's going to be measured in units of joules represented by capital J. Never, ever, ever will heat be measured in degrees Celsius or Kelvin because these two are not equivalent things. Temperature is a measurement. Heat itself is the energy. So if you later on down the line, you're going to be asked to calculate heat, you're going to be looking over on this side of things. If you're asked to convert between temperatures or if you're told the temperature of a particular substance, what you're really being told is the quantity of average kinetic energy. So I hope this helps differentiate between the two terms, heat and temperature.